I started this channel primarily because I was so excited by a robot vacuum cleaner and wanted to share that with a lot of viewers like yourself. And the product that I started with was iLife V5S Pro. Life has come a full circle and today I'm going to be demoing a product that iLife actually sent to me. Like in all of the sponsored videos that I do accept, I do make sure that I cover both the pros as well as improvements of that particular model so that viewers can make an informed choice when they do decide to purchase or not to purchase a particular product. So let's start with the basics. This particular robot vacuum cleaner has a height of 2.99 inches which is a good height because it can go under low-lying furniture like sofas. The suction power of the iLife B5 Max is 2000 PA which is comparable or better than most robot vacuum cleaners that I have compared at this particular price point. And the noise at this suction power is not too high and does not disturb. Now from a battery point of view, it has a 2400 mAh battery. It takes about 5 hours to charge completely and once it is completely charged, it can run for about 100 minutes. So it is ideal for small to medium sized houses up to 2500-2000 square feet. The charging dock is quite small and sleek and can be kept under any low lying furniture hidden in plain sight. I have kept it under my TV unit. You can also keep it under the sofa because it is so sleek. Now let's talk about the best part of any robot vacuum cleaner which is the sweeping capability. It has a brushless motor and two side brushes which help to pull the dust towards the center of the robot vacuum cleaner and push it into the bin. The iLife B5 Max uses infrared sensing to detect height differences, to detect obstacles as well as to detect corners. Now because it uses infrared, it does require light for operation. Like most robot vacuum cleaners, it has multiple modes of operations which is a random mode, an auto mode, an edge cleaning mode, a spot cleaning mode and so on. One of the biggest benefits of the iLife B5 Max is the path cleaning mode which is not available in most of the robot vacuum cleaners at this price point. So unlike the random mode which most robot vacuum cleaners at this price point use, the path cleaning mode starts at the corners and then covers the center of the room. For best efficiency of cleaning, it is better to leave the robot vacuum cleaner in a room for a considerable amount of time so that it is able to cover the edges and then the center part of the room effectively. Once the cleaning is done or if the robot vacuum cleaner is running out of battery, the robot vacuum cleaner can find its way back to the dock. Now if it, the robot vacuum is in the same room as the dock, it may be able to find the dock a lot easier. But if it is in a different room, it goes along the edges of all the rooms and then finds the dock which could take a considerable amount of time. A best practice here is to clean the room where the dock is last so that when the robot vacuum cleaner is done with the cleaning or is running out of charge, it can find the dock a lot more easily. Now let's talk about mopping. In this case, it has only a 50 ml water tank, which is quite small in my opinion, and you will need to refill the tank for every single room that you need to mop. A best practice is to actually spray water or disinfectant on the floors before you actually start the mopping. So this can extend the water that you already have or you don't even need to refill the water in the water tank. But the water tank is an intelligent water tank which means that if the robot vacuum cleaner has halted at some point, it stops the flow of water making sure that there is no puddle that is formed because the water continues to flow even though the robot vacuum cleaner has stopped which is a problem for some of the other robot vacuum cleaners. Now one of the biggest pain points in a robot vacuum cleaner is the dustbin size. There are three benefits of the dustbin in the iLife B5 Max. The first is that the bin is 600 ml which means that for a 1500 square feet house you only need to empty it once in three to four days. The second thing is that the way you empty the dustbin make sure that you do not actually touch the dust when you're emptying the dustbin. This is a big benefit. In most other robot vacuum cleaners, actually your hands do get dirty. And the third biggest benefit is that the iLife B5 Max uses a cyclone dustbin principle, which essentially means that when the dust is collected, it is stored in the dustbin in a way that it makes way for more dust to be collected inside. This makes sure that you don't need to empty your dustbin that often as well. In the iLife B5 Max, you also have the benefit of purchasing dust bags. So these dust bags are similar to what you would have seen in 
earlier vacuum cleaners or corded vacuum cleaners. These particular dust bags are not washable. Once you use it, you have to throw it out. But in this case, the dust bag is about one liter and it can last you almost up to a week or little more than a week, depending on the size of your house and how often you clean. Each of these dust bags is available at 150 rupees. In my opinion, you probably don't need to go for this option, primarily because the dustbin size in the iLife B5 Max is quite large, as well as the way you empty the dustbin is quite easy and not cumbersome at all. Now let's talk about some of the usability aspects. You can navigate this robot vacuum cleaner using both a mobile as well as a remote. In the remote, you can schedule your robot vacuum cleaner. You can start and stop. You can select the modes of cleaning and so on which is quite user friendly especially if it is used by elders in your house in the mobile app there are a number of additional functions that you can perform one you can see a live map of the cleaning so based on that live map you can determine which parts of your house have been cleaned and which haven't been cleaned. While maps cannot be stored compared to the higher priced models, it is a good alternative to have in a model at this price point. You can schedule the cleaning in the mobile app as well and you can see cleaning history for the last seven days. Similar to the remote, you can set various cleaning modes like edge cleaning, spot cleaning and so on. You can also set the suction power. Now, where is this useful? If you have pets at home, or you have carpeted area in your house, you might want to set a higher suction power. If that is not the case, a 40 to 50% suction power, which in this case is about 1000 PA is good enough. You can also set the water flow based on the room that you're cleaning. Let's say you're cleaning the kitchen, you might want a higher flow. Let's say you're cleaning a bedroom, you might want a lower flow. In addition, you can also see when some of the parts need re replacement, like the HEPA filter on the mobile app itself. In addition to the remote and the mobile app, you can also control the robot vacuum cleaner using Alexa or Google Home. Now let's talk about the ongoing maintenance. And in general, there are three key things that you need to replace. The first is the HEPA filter. Most robot vacuum cleaners have a HEPA filter which picks up very fine dust from your house. And these filters need to be replaced once in four to five months in the case of the iLife B5 Max. And it costs about Rs. 350. The second thing you need to replace are the side brushes. Now the side brushes can get damaged or can start coming out based on the usage in your house. These side brushes can be easily removed and put back in the case of B5 Max compared to the V5S Pro which I use which requires a screwdriver to take the brushes out. Now these brushes are available in a pair of two and it is available at Rs. 390 I believe on the iLife website. And the third thing that you need to replace is the mop. Now this mop can be washed on a regular basis. You can hand wash it or you can even put it in the washing machine. But when it does get very dirty and needs to be replaced, you can get the spares on the iLife website. It costs about 200 rupees per mop. Another thing that I keep getting asked is the service of iLife. Now iLife has offices in three locations, uh, Bangalore, Mumbai and Delhi. And they service most of the products out of these three locations. During the warranty period, they will arrange for a free pickup and drop. You can get the latest numbers on their website ilifecare.in. Now to summarize everything, let's talk about what I like and what I think can be improved in this product. First, let's talk with what I like. The first thing is the suction power. In the case of the ilife B5 Max, it is 2000 PA, which is comparable or higher than the suction power of most robot vacuum cleaners at this price point. This is especially useful if you have more carpeted area in your house or you have pets in your house. The second thing I really like is the no touch dustbin. So it does have a large dustbin, which yes, is a big plus, but the no touch dustbin makes it an even bigger plus because you can empty the dustbin really, really easily. And the third biggest benefit is the path based navigation. Unlike most robot vacuum cleaners at this price point, which follow random navigation, even the iLife B5S Pro that I use actually uses random navigation. This particular model has a path based navigation, which makes sure that the coverage of cleaning is much better in this robot vacuum cleaner. Now let's talk about the improvement areas. So like I mentioned earlier, the mop size is really small. It's only 50 ml and it can be an issue for larger houses. A way to get around this is to actually wet your floors before you start the mopping if you would like to go that route. The second improvement area is the battery capacity. In this case, it is only 2400 mAh. Now this capacity would be sufficient for small to medium sized houses, 
but it may not be sufficient for larger houses especially since this particular model does not have a recharge and resume capability which is available in higher priced models. Watch the video that I have linked over here to look at my long term experience of using an iLife product. I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.